Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Astosh Kumar. I am a clinical director for Cardiac Electrophysiology at Care Hospital Hyderabad. Today, one of the important rhythm disorder we call as atrial fibrillation. If you are reading or if you are having any come across it, it is a very panic condition in which a lot of time patient Google and they find, oh, I'm having atrial fibrillation, next I'm going to develop this stroke. So just I want to diffuse that atrial fibrillation is a rhythm disorder. No doubt it lead to a stroke, but there are something more has to be present in the patient so that he will develop the, this stroke related issues or you can say embolic stroke can happen. So let us understand what atrial fibrillation is. So atrial fibrillation is irregular contraction of the heart upper chamber, what we call as atrium. And whenever it is happening, there is a, some propensity of developing the clot in the chambers. And when this clot is forming, it can embolize any part of the body. If it is going in the brain, it will lead to the stroke, which is one of the important risks. And for that, we screen the patient. If you are having atrial fibrillation, don't panic. First of all, you should take a, a consultation with the doctor. See whether you are having other risk factor or not. We call it a Chad West scoring. Means there is some score on which we can say, yes, you are having more. And you, if you are taking um, blood thinners, you will be prevented or you can avoid the stroke. Second, there are some condition in which if you are having atrial fibrillation, it is an invitation that if you are not taking clotting medicines, certainly you will be having more risk of developing stroke than the general population. So risk assessment is very, very important and never get carried away with your mobile apps, which is showing that you are having atrial fibrillation. If you are young enough, atrial fibrillation need a lifestyle modification, stress management, diet management. And on that, it can be fine. So if you are stressing too much, you are taking uh, granted a lot of time, you are not properly sleeping, and uh, you are having overweight, you are having binge drinking, you can develop atrial fibrillation. So you have to work on all those things, then thinking about atrial fibrillation is going to bring you a stroke in the coming time. So prevention is better than cure. First prevent it. And if at all you are having atrial fibrillation, which, which, which is not having any reversible factor, then certainly you should consult, you have to be get evaluated for the blood thinners or we can say anticoagulant. And one time it is started, it is a lifelong uh, therapy. So we are just preventing the stroke for that we are giving. So if you are a candidate, you should choose a, the therapy. And this part, electrophysiologist or a cardiologist will bet, tell you better whether you are a candidate or not. So if atrial fibrillation is happening, work on your risk factors in consultation with the doctor and if needed, go for uh, ablation if it is uh, paroxysmal. Sometimes uh, we give therapy in which uh, there is no need of uh, going for uh, anticoagulant depending upon the patient's risk factor. We call it as a left atrial appendix closure. So with this word, I will say that uh, in atrial fibrillation, it is important that you should discuss with the electrophysiologist then getting panic with your condition. Thank you for watching. See you next time.